Hey guys, it's Kahila or K. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I, I did not plan on filming, okay? But I decided I'm gonna try and make something using cotton yarn for the first time. This is gonna be crazy. I am currently editing a video for my writing channel and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna crochet while I'm doing it. And I'm currently working on a patchwork cardigan. And I was like, let me crochet some squares. But then I was looking at my cotton yarn and I was just like, why don't I just dive into the cotton yarn now? Like, why wait? I'm just like, let me film it. So here I am filming it. So if you guys did not see my video talking about dishy yarn, I'll link it right there for you guys. But I, un I did an unboxing where I received the yarn and I unboxed it, felt it, did a little swatch all for the first time with cotton yarn. And I was just like, you know what? Cotton yarn is it. I'm going to just mainly make 99% of my creations with cotton yarn. So this is going to be my first one. My sister made this super cute crop top. I'll insert a picture right here for you guys. And I told her to send me the pattern. Her pattern's not done. <laughs> like she typed up some stuff in her notes. So I was like, I don't care if it's messy, if you don't understand it. Just send it to me because I just want a little reference. That's it. So I can create it myself. So here we are about to use this yarn to create her shirt crop top mine is gonna be like a little longer than hers but yeah it's still I still want it to be crappy so anyway we shall see as always I'm starting off with the ribbing I already like yanked some of this yarn out from the last video doing the swatch so <sighs> here we go let's see how this turns out you guys I'm filming this because I want you to be on this journey with me this is gonna be exciting Right, guys after many many times frogging and almost quitting <laughs> because of how different it is working with cotton yarn versus acrylic yarn I finally have my ribbing and my first row so I have a there's a lot of yarn in this thing so I'm just gonna work this up with the rest of this yarn and then whatever colors come next come next this is gonna be a weird looking colored shirt and you know what it's just gonna be what it is so I'm excited it's so much it's, it's so different I just love how different it is working with this yarn and I'm just excited to see how this turns out. So I am going to watch Shadow and Bone now because I finished all of the books. And when I tell you I'm like barely into it and I love it already, my heart, the casting, perfect. Like I'm just, I keep rewinding things so many times because this show is just so perfect already. Anyway, so I'm going to watch that while I work this up and I'll come back to you when I have something to show. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Ben Barnes. Woo! I'm back you guys I am now on row 11 and this is what it's looking like so 
It's looking pretty good. It feels so cool. It looks so cool. It's like so different. It's so light too. Like, hello. <laughs> it's like light, but like a nice, it's not heavy, but it's like a little heavier than light. But I don't know how to describe it. I need some synonyms, please. But anyway, it's looking good. Row 11. I... Honestly, I don't even know how how many rows I need to do. I'm just going to, the next time I update you guys, I'll probably get to row 20 and then update you guys and then start seeing when I need to decrease or whatever to make the collar part. Anyway, back to Shadow and Bone. <laughs> row 26 right now and this is what it's looking like so what's getting up there I am getting closer oh you guys can't even see I'm getting closer to where I need to be so this is the back panel did I say this was the back panel if I said it was the front panel I lied so this is the back panel I'm basically free handing it kind of trying to figure out the right amount of stitches for myself, the right amount of rows. So I need to get it, I need to get this back panel to like at least like uh, right here. So I'm on row 26 right now. That's probably gonna be like what, 50 rows or something. I don't know, I'm not good at figuring that out. But I will continue to crochet these rows. So I'm stopping for now, it is, 8 46 right now and dude i finished shadow and bone and when i tell you oh my gosh for any of the people who read the books like you will love this they changed a lot of course especially adding the crows in the mix but that was like the best thing they could have done because i feel like without the crows honestly the show would be kind of boring it wouldn't have that pizzazz that spice that mm, that like, it would still be great, but, like, the crows just really made this show. Like, they made this show. And as a person who read all of the books, well, minus the Nikolai duology, but anyway. As a person who read the trilogy and the duology for Six of Crows, like, <sighs> my heart... I'm ready for the next season already. Like they set the show up so well for season two. And since I already know what's gonna happen, I'm just so excited to see it play out. But anyway, anyway, back to crochet. I'm going to stop right now because I want to read. So I will be back tomorrow probably to continue crocheting. And hopefully tomorrow I can finish the back panel. So I can start the front panel. Yeah. right now this is what it is looking like on me it's like oh wait I think that's too quick mm. 
So I think I just need, this is how I want it, I want it right there, I want it like right here. Yeah, so I just need Okay, yeah. I was thinking I might need just need 40 rows, but we shall see. Maybe 50 and not 60. I don't know. We shall see, but this is what it's looking like so far. I oh, what row do I want to get to today? I actually want to try to finish this today, but we shall see what happens. By the way, I'm wearing my vest that I made with the griddle stitch. I will, do I have the video up already? I think I'll have the video up by now. So I will link the video up here for you guys and I'll, no, I won't, I'll just link the video. And yeah, it fits nice and like big-ish on me. The back is blue. And it's just so great. I love it so much. It feels so good. And I just love wearing my creations. Like, it feels great to create something that I can actually wear on a normal day instead of just in a video. And I'm also using one of my newer hooks from Furls. I love this. This is the, not the cream, this is the cafe hook. And oh, this is so beautiful. I love it so much. And yeah, so let's get back to crocheting. Okay, so I am done with 40 rows of this. I'm still not sure if it's like totally, this is the back panel, so I'm not sure if it's like totally, totally fine, but we're just gonna experiment and it's gonna have to be fine. Like I said, I think I said earlier, this is not a finished pattern from my sister. I just had her send me her notes so I can just like try to wing it myself, basically, and kind of make my own pattern, <laughs> but Wait, I think by the time this video is out, her pattern is actually finished. So if her pattern is actually finished, I'll link it down below for you guys. And I think she is probably going to have a tutorial with it. So I'll link it up here for you guys if I'm able to. If not, it'll be down below as well if it's out. Okay, so yeah, I'm done with this. This is the back panel. And now I'm going to go and watch some Blacklist with my sisters. Yes, we're still watching it. If you've seen my other videos when I talk about us watching Blacklist, we're still watching it. We're on season six now, I think, out of eight seasons, and it's still not done. I'm so sad. Anyway, I'm going to start on a ribbing for the front panel and then go and watch some Blacklist crochet there, of course, update you guys, and then we'll see how much I can get done tonight. The front panel is going to be so different. I've never, the neckline that I'm going to be doing, I've never done it before, but it seems easy enough, so. We shall see. it is the next day I'm not sure if I updated you guys last night so here I am I am on row 10 of the front panel it looks like this so far it looks really I love maroon colors and I realized I told myself I'll start using more springy colors but my hand just reached for the maroon because I love my dark muted should I call it muted? My, I love my darker colors. Colors on a darker side of the spectrum. So mm, the next color I grab because I'm sure I will need more to finish off this front panel. Maybe we shall see. If I do, I will I already have a brighter color that is picked out. So yeah, like I said, I think I said it before, but this is a random colored I was gonna call this a jumper because I've been making so many jumpers. Oh my gosh. This is a random colored crop top. I don't care what the color scheme is, what a mat matching colors. See, I really don't care. I'm a random person, so this is gonna be a random colored crop top. Anyway, I'm currently watching Tiffany from, what is her channel's name? Uh, oh, Tiffany Lou. I'm watching her podcast that she came out with, and I am 
almost halfway through 26 minutes in and it's like an hour I didn't even realize 26 minutes passed like I can literally listen to her talk all day like I can't wait for more I love her videos like I love her videos I'm gonna continue crocheting I'll probably update you guys again at like 20 something rows we shall see and yeah we shall see so let's crochet guys I don't remember what I filmed last but it is still the same day and I just came from a huge shopping spree food shopping so it's nothing interesting but I did get a few snacks okay so like I got these scorching cheddar chips and oh my gosh my sister had them last week they were so good and I'm just like I need my own so I got like a bunch of cans <laughs> but I'm in my sister's room we're gonna watch a blacklist all me and my other Two sisters we're all gonna watch blacklist together again of course that's our show that we watch together so we're gonna watch that i'm gonna eat some snacks i'm gonna drink some bubbly and crochet of course i am on row 13 i don't remember the row i was on last before i stopped filming i'm not on row 20 like i said i would be when i updated you guys but i just wanted you to know that time has passed i got my vaccine my first dose of the vaccine today as well which was very exciting oh, yeah. yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing so i will just film myself crocheting whenever i start crocheting so see you guys <laughs> whenever <laughs> film last I keep forgetting what I filmed but anyway I think it was what last night when I was watching blacklist and now it's like almost night again because it's 5 38 right now but I've been working on this front panel and this is what it's looking like okay this looks cooler on camera but I finished this one side of the front panel so now I am on row 37 of this side it's gonna be like this I'm gonna have on I'm gonna but anyway, I'm almost done with the front panel. I only have four more rows to go until I'm done with the front panel and then I can start on the sleeves. So I'm gonna be starting on the sleeves tonight. And after that, it's gonna just be putting everything together. Yeah, and then the collar and then I'll be done. So hopefully I can finish this tomorrow actually. That'll be really, when I tell you, if I finish this tomorrow, like I'll be way ahead of schedule, which is so exciting so exciting what will I you know what I could start planning out the sleeve the long sleeves of my next project that I'll be talking about in like two videos from now I believe no it's gonna be more than two videos from now but I'll probably talk about it in later videos it's something I'm working on which is so exciting I'm so excited to film that video no actually I will be starting on it soon because I need a prototype Yes, okay, so it'll probably be two videos from now, which is exciting, so yeah. I'm gonna be watching Blacklist with my sisters tonight, again, because we love Blacklist, don't we girls? Yes, yes we, we do. do! They sound like robots, I swear, <laughs> they're literally right there. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're gonna be watching Blacklist tonight, so I'm gonna finish this, do the sleeves, sew it all together, do the collar, and then I'll be done, so... Let's get it. Tomorrow, hopefully, be done. Fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, fingers crossed. I forgot to cross these fingers. Anyway.
All right, guys, it's like literally like five minutes later and I am done with the front panel. So now it's time to do the sleeves and then sew everything together. I'm very excited. This is gonna be like my first crop top shirt. We'll see how it ends up because I'm not even sure if it's gonna be crop top if I did it too long. We shall see, like I said, so let's do the sleeves. All right guys, I am done with my one sleeve right here. It's so weird doing a sleeve this small. I'm so used to the long sleeve, like, this is weird. Anyway, this is what it's gonna look like. <laughs> so now it's time to do the other sleeve. So I'm almost done with this blue. My next color is going to be this orange color. So I'm having a weird colored shirt, but that's my personality. So I'm embracing it and I'm enjoying it. And yeah, so I'm gonna take a short break because I do need to dabble into some writing and editing for my writing. So I'll do that and then I'll be back with the next sleeve. I'm so excited I'm so happy because is it too dark no oh, whatever I finished the second sleeve oh my goodness I'm done I'm done so now all I need to do is sew all of this together sleeve sleeve and then I have the front panel and back panel together right here I don't feel like unfolding it so I will sew all of those tomorrow I know I said I wanted to be done today and I could be done today honestly but I have so much writing to do and I need to film for my writing channel I know I need to film a writing vlog so I am going to do that and I also need to do some prepping for June's videos for both channels and I just have so much planning that I need to do. So I need to take a break and I'm just gonna finish this tomorrow, which will be even more exciting because then I can finish when there's still light outside, even though there, there's there's a little light outside, but it's like seven. Yeah, it's 7.08 right now, PM. So it's about to be dark. But anyway, lots of planning to do. I'm so excited. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and I will finish it. This is gonna be so exciting. I'm so excited to see all the random colors together because like I said, that's me.
I wasn't gonna show you guys what it looked like without the collar done but then I just got into some a long discussion with my family we were over here joking on each other it was great and I still had it on so I was just like you know what I might as well show you guys what it looks like on me without the collar so here are the sleeves oh my these sleeves are so perfect, like, oh my gosh. So the only thing, this is what it looks like on me. Like, my torso is so long <laughs> and wide and thick, and this is, like, short on me. Like, I'm 5'8", so I'm, like, proportional, long, proportionate. How do I say that? Proportionately long? <laughs> Oh, no I'm proportionate okay so I have a long torso and I have long legs so I thought 40 rows would be enough but it's not I mean this is cool for like a crop top but like I wanted to go more like right here crappy and not like oh this is almost a bralette crappy so I'm gonna do like 45 rows for my next one and see what that looks like but yeah I'm gonna start on the collar now and then I'll be done, you guys. I'll be done tonight. <sighs> anyway, I've been watching Fairy Tale, and it's I love it. It's really great. It's very nice. A lot of people don't like it, I've heard, but I don't care because I like it. So anyway, let's continue with the collar. I've never done this type of collar before, so <sighs> hopefully it turns out good. <sighs> we shall see. We shall see. I'll let you guys know if I had to do it a bunch of times in order to get it right. Or if I got it right the first time. If I remember to tell you guys. Anyway, let's get the color done. Okay, I'm not done with the color yet, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of it and how I haven't done any frogging with it yet. I did ask my sisters a bajillion questions about it though, but this is what it is looking like so far. I've never done a color like this before, so this is like super cool to me, but like this is gonna be really nice. So that's what it looks like. I have this much to go so let's get it I'm gonna finish it tonight but it's it's gonna take a little bit I finish the collar this is what it looks like and oh my gosh it looks so good I swear during the process I'm just I was just like <laughs> this is gonna turn out ugly this is so ugly but it turned out so great like look at it it's just <laughs> it's just fucking me so well so let me stand up for you guys So this is what it looks like. You can see my weird colored back and then my different colored sleeves and the crimp. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is my first ever cropped shirt. My first ever shirt in general. So <laughs> I feel so great. Of course, for you guys, I'm going to insert some pictures right here of me probably either just a shirt or me in an entire outfit either way here's me looking better and not like I'm about to go to bed so yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this from me don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because it'll notify you whenever I post another video also let me know down below what you guys want to see me create next if you see any patterns that you would like me to follow just link that down below for me or let me know I just I just love creating things so yeah let me know and I'll see you guys in my next one